The idea of a personal computer invulnerable to any form of attack is just plain silly. For many years, Mac users have prided themselves in not having to worry about malware. They believed that they were invulnerable to any of the nasty stuff floating around the net, or on floppy disks in the olden days. Remember these? Even Apple themselves, on more than one occasion, defended this idea. There may have been a grain of truth to this, way in the past when Macs were few compared to Windows PCs. It never really made economic sense for the bad guys to target a minority system, so the myth that they were impervious persisted. Unfortunately for Mac users, apples became cool. Huh? Uh, not those apples, sorry. iMac, Mac Mini, MacBooks and the MacBook Air. The growth in market share has meant that Apple's desirable computers and the Mac OS operating system have become tasty looking treats for the online criminals of today. Malware for Macs is nothing new. In fact, back in 1982, the first ever PC virus was for the Mac, not the Windows PC. The Elk cloner from 1982 for the Apple IIe did no real harm, just replicated itself on and on. As technology evolved, so did the malware. Take, for example, the Flashback Trojan from 2011. The Flashback Trojan exploited a vulnerability in Oracle's Java software, which allowed it to install itself on a Mac invisibly, without even requesting the user to enter their password. The victim simply had to visit a malicious or compromised website. Macs around the world were under the control of criminals in a giant botnet. Every one of those victims was at risk of having their personal information stolen to be traded on the criminal underground, and of becoming victims of identity theft. Some say that Apple's built-in protection is enough. Flashback, among others, says it's not. It's true that recently Apple changed its security philosophy from safeguard your data by doing nothing to built right in. Regardless, the Flashback Trojan affected more than 600,000 computers. Yes, you heard that right. This complacency leaves many Mac users with the mistaken belief that either Macs are not vulnerable to malware or that none exists for their platform, or both, impacting their ability to make informed decisions when downloading or installing new software, opening attachments, or visiting questionable sites. Hence the need for a security program on a Mac. Saying that just a few years back would have had your friends snorting into their decaf skinny extra shot mochaccinos. Even now it might raise a dry smile in some corners, but beware, winter is coming. Over 97% of Mac users are not protected by any kind of security software. But of the 2.5% that are, 97% of those rely on Trend Micro. Online criminals are targeting Mac OS, and they don't care if you believe it or not. Think about it. I'm Rick Ferguson from Trend Micro. Thanks for watching.